Brain tech, yeah. Weird tech is made simple. So we have the latest Patch Tuesday updates for the month of August rolling out for Windows. And for Windows 10, that is KB5016616. And Microsoft started rolling out um, this update on the 9th of August, which was late yesterday in my region. Now, 5016616 is made available for Windows 10 versions 21H2, 21H1, and Windows Server version 20H2. And just on a side note, um, this will be the last Patch Tuesday security update um, for Windows Server version 20H2. And Microsoft mentions that after the 9th of August 2022, um, Windows Server 20H2 will no longer receive a monthly security and quality updates. And obviously, they recommend updating to the latest version of Windows Server. Now, once the update um, has been installed, Windows 10 version 21H2, which is the latest stable release of Windows 10, the OS build will be bumped up to 19044.1889. Now, um, the Patch Tuesday updates roll out on the second Tuesday of every month, as many of you know, and they are compulsory mandatory automatic updates, which will be downloaded and installed automatically. And the only way you can prevent that is to pause the update for a couple of days. And once the update has been downloaded and installed and your device has been restarted, if you are interested, you can just head over to View Update History where the update will be listed under Quality Updates, Cumulative Update for Windows 10, KB5016616. Now, this is a very important security update um, that has rolled out for Windows 10 uh, this month. But over and above that, it actually has two bug fixes. Um, which I have posted on previously, and um, it addresses an issue that affects the printing of files you submit to a printer. So that has finally been resolved. And then a language bar issue I posted on just a couple of days ago. Um, there was a known issue that might prevent the input indicator and language bar from displaying in the notification area. So that's here in the bottom right of the taskbar in the system tray. And this was affecting devices that had more than one language installed. So that now has finally been addressed with this latest Patch Tuesday update for Windows 10. And then as mentioned, it addresses security issues um, in the Windows operating system. And there are plenty of security vulnerabilities that have been addressed this month, 58 vulnerabilities in total. And 12 of those are critical. So that's your highest rated vulnerability. So this is a very important security update and 46 are important. And um, most of the uh, critical vulnerabilities, 12 in total, are remote code execution vulnerabilities, which means um, a hacker or the bad guys can try to gain access uh, to your system over a network or online. So um, just double check your computer is up to date um, as it does address 58 vulnerabilities in total and 12 of those are critical. Now, um, if you installed um, earlier updates only the new updates contained in this um, cumulative update 5016616 will be downloaded and installed on your device. And um, if you didn't um, install um, the optional update that rolled out uh, near the end of uh, last month, July, which was KB5015878 for Windows 10, then um, those um, improvements and um, fixes will be rolled out in this latest update for Windows 10. And just to go through those quickly, as I have posted on this previously, and I will leave a link in the description to that video, but just to do a quick, quick recap, uh, there were two new um, features, uh, minor uh, features, and that was it included a new notification bypass for uh, the notification for uh, notifications for um, Focus Assist. And it also had improvements to the high input and output operations per second ROPS. And it also fixed a video playback issue in DirectX 12 games and also resolved a multi-monitor bug. So um, if you didn't install KB5015878, uh, then this latest patch Tuesday update for Windows 10, KB5016616 will also contain those improvements and fixes. So thanks for watching. And I will see you in the next one.